How you doing, folks? Today we're going to make a nice, light, fresh pizza sauce. Later on today, or tonight, actually, I'm going to be making an upside-down pizza in my 10 and a quarter inch cast iron. So I'm going to make a nice, light pizza sauce. I've got some San Marzano um, Italian tomatoes. They're whole tomatoes, peeled. And it comes with a little sauce, a little basil already in them, nice and fresh. I want to put them in a blender, put some garlic in it. I got three cloves that I've just crushed. Drop them in, just drop them in the blender at the bottom so they'll grind up a little bit. Got a little olive oil, put a little drizzle olive oil in the blender. I'm going to drop my tomatoes in. This could be more than enough sauce. Yep, not a lot of salt in there. So you're going to have to salt it to taste. I'm going to put a little, little black pepper in there. And you put seasonings in here, which you think is the right amount. I usually don't measure seasonings. I do it to taste. That's a little crushed red pepper. A little garlic powder. Not a lot because we got fresh garlic in there. A little oregano. Like I said, the tomatoes already have basil in it. A little onion powder. Not a lot. Probably a quarter teaspoon, if I had to guess. We're just going to give this, so if you want to turn your volume down a little bit, I'm going to turn this blender on. I'm going to give it just a pulse. That's all I'm going to do. I want to keep some of them whole tomatoes chunky. <laughs> That's it. We'll give this a little taste. Yep, a little bit of salt. Now when you salt something, always remember, you can always add more salt. You can't take it back out. Fresh spoon here. Yep, that's it. Yep, and that's it. Pour it back in this container. See if I get get the shot here. It's still chunky. You can see a little bit of basil dropping in there. A little, couple little pieces of garlic. And if you don't use all this sauce, you could. This is a good starter for a spaghetti sauce. Add a little tomato paste with it. Some vegetables. It'll make good spaghetti sauce. Well, I hope you stick around a little bit later tonight and see this upside down pizza. Thank you.